everyone and thank you so much for watching my character head modeling video appreciate all the comments and feedback uh, since a lot of people asked me to redo that video and add some voice to it and maybe uh, go a little bit slow I'm gonna try to uh, do that character head modeling in several parts and put it on YouTube so you guys can you know take advantage of this technique um, before we get started we need to prepare 3ds max to uh, model uh, and and you know give us the tools we need in this technique uh, in the right places so basically this is gonna be tips and tricks um, and getting ready to start modeling uh, this is part one and um, uh, to begin with, when you launch 3ds Max, this is what you see. And what I usually do is I go to Customize, Show UI, and turn off the track bar, especially when I'm only spending my time in modeling and texturing. Uh, you only need track bar for animation, and if you're not animating, there's no, way, no need to uh, have this displaying and occupying some space. When you do that, notice uh, your viewports gets a little bigger. So it always helps. Uh, the next thing what I usually do is I go to my customize preferences and some of you might already know this but you know you can change your undo levels uh, right here by default it's set up to 20. I usually go about 50 which is more than enough for me. And I also turn on the auto window crossing by direction option this was taken from AutoCAD uh, one, of, one of a very um, nice little feature and it helps instead of changing your window and crossing mode uh, using this button uh, you can just define it by direction and the way it works is uh, when I drag click and drag from left to right it's in the crossing mode and notice the marquee here is like dotted lines and when I click and drag from right to left you see a solid line it's uh, going in the window mode uh, something very neat and useful uh, so these are very nice features uh, next thing we need to do is um, set up our quad menus and add some short keys to the quad menus uh, the, the common feature which are which are gonna be used quite a lot in this modeling technique so I go to the customize customize user interface and I'm gonna uh, <clears throat> go to the quads uh, tab here and where it says category all commands I'm gonna open up the list and pick the editable polygon objects this way all the actions uh, displayed here are related to editable polygon object which is what we're gonna use and you can pick the uh, the side of the quad by clicking on this here uh, so what I usually do is I go to the left bottom left section open up the context edit poly tools um, and this is what you see by default in the quad menu these are the uh, tools available so what we want to add to it is uh, just click on any action here and uh, press S on your keyboard uh, to get to the select loop and select ring option which is um, usually available in the editable poly but not in the quad by default and I'm gonna click and drag this guy here right under create poly so first we have select loop and then the next I'm gonna put is select ring okay and then you can save it as a max start UI dot MNU file you know and it's gonna say do you wanna replace it yes and this way it's always gonna be there when you when you work inside 3ds max um, a very essential tool um, the next thing I want to do is if you um, are familiar with the um, 
the edge uh, constraint uh, toggle inside editable poly it, it helps a lot constraining your vertices on an edge or to move them around uh, I'll explain it when we are inside the modeling part but what I usually do is I go to the keyboard shortcuts and um, under editable polygon object uh, just go to the edge constraint toggle and by default it's set up to shift X um, and what I do is I like the the hard key D which is for disable viewport I hardly use that so I assign this guy to shift constraint uh, edge constraint toggle and then save it again keyboard shortcut save and next thing I'm gonna do is under the quads go to the advanced options and I have my fonts changed to Verdana bold for the title and the regular Verdana for the menu font and the size set up to 10 and 10 uh, this gives me nice big um, text to read on the quad menu um, also I have increased the vertical margins to 2 and I can change the opacity amount from 100% to uh, let's say 80% and then I'm gonna say save as startup are you sure yes click done and you can close these windows so we are ready to get started on the modeling part and uh, we're done with the setup so I'll see you in part two thank you so much